Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another competition video so yeah you guys have, I've seen a lot of you in the discord server have really been looking forward to this one and, and I've actually been too because a lot of people have submitted today but before we begin guys I want to say a massive massive thank you as always because um, the subscriber count is just impossible to keep up with now. I mean, it is absolutely crazy. So just a massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and is helping on the journey to um, 7,000 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing. But with that all out of the way, let's begin. So today we are doing Gleaser 436B. Now, this is a Neptune-sized exoplanet. It's actually a hot Neptune, the first ever hot Neptune object um, ever discovered, I believe, exoplanet hot Neptune. So, yeah, this is my custom we actually have right here. Now, this is one that um, PDT Mark made absolutely ages ago, and this is my one I use for myself in videos and stuff. Um, if you remember the size comparison, I used it in there. So today's challenge pretty much is can anyone beat my custom variant which Mark made for me? So yeah, this one will be in the competition, although it is my own object which I use, and I don't usually include my own objects, I didn't make this, so it is definitely allowed to be in here. So, right, so we're going to pause this up, and I hope you like the background as well. I think it really fits the planet well. It literally matches it perfectly, if you ask me. So, yeah, there is that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we've got today. So, we'll first off start with Diamond Creeper's Gleaser here. So, let's go ahead and place it down. So, there we go. So he has gone with a white and blue coloured theme to it here. So he's also gone with a bit of bands on it as well, which is looking pretty cool. So yeah, there we go there. Obviously it's gas giants, so there's not really too much to look at. So we're going to go move straight on to the next one. Uh, next one we've got Gigamans here. So he's going, ooh, he's actually heated his one up as well. So here it is here. It's looking, it looks similar to his old um, custom Jupiter, I have to say as well. But yeah, here it is here. So it's actually got a pink North Pole, a bit of the... Um, red clouds as well because it's um at 500 degrees here can we see what it looks like without the clouds just underneath it i'm not sure if we can do it without running the simulation which is quite annoying i guess we can go ahead and quickly do, just remove these what does this look like without all of that temperature there so this so that's what it looks like underneath okay so that's looking pretty good yeah definitely reminds me of his old um i think it was planet 9 or jupiter that he made i can't remember precisely um so yeah there is that one Right, next up we have got, um, okay, so it was Mark's one. Okay, so I've done all of those. This one here isn't one, It's a, that's a different object. Um, next up we've got Mr. Missilot's one, so let's go ahead and spawn that in there. So he's going with a crazy banded one, look at this. Wow, okay, so it's to tilt it up the right way as well. He's also put it a little hot in temperature. That's looking pretty cool, I have to say. The bands on that, very unique way he's done the bands with like, you can see it like some lines just way more visible than others. That is a very, very nice um, look to it. All right, next up we got um, Blue's one here. So there we go. So he's gone with a green one. Okay, so he's gone away from the um, color scheme that most people have used so far with the pinks and purples. Um, and he's gone with a uh, green one. I've got to say, that is a nice dark mint green. That's a, Yeah, I'd say that's about... Would you say that's a mint green? Yeah, I'd say that's about a mint green. It's also got a bit of blue on it in the north area as well. And then I'll see in the south it goes to mint green. Then we got more blue again. So yeah, it's a pretty cool um, colour scheme for it there. So there we go. Next up we've got Gurren's one. So let's go ahead and place this one in. Now I believe he had two to show off. I'm just, I don't know if it's here though. So I definitely downloaded it. I'm not entirely sure. But so yeah, he has got this one here. So let's go ahead and place it in here. Wow, look how red that is. Well dang, that is a very, very red object. It looks like from when I was going to place it in, it looked like it would be a more purpley pink object but no it's actually red it's pretty interesting so yeah there we go there all right so that one is um looking pretty cool i have to say that red tint does look good all right let me just see i'm just going to see because he definitely had a custom one uh let me just quickly go ahead and see if i can find this so there we go okay so it's okay so it was called something else okay he had something to show off but it's not the same object but he wanted the to one anyway so it was called um let me see here it was called Okay, so it was GJ436B. Okay, so he wanted to show that off. So let's quickly. So GJ. So he wanted to show this one off. This is actually the concept. This is the concept art. And he's actually put the custom thumbnail for it as well. So let's see what he's got here. So this one is based off the, the real one. But it looks pretty much the same as that one. So yeah, but there is that one. He, yeah, he's based it off the concept art, which does look pretty cool. If you just search Gleaser 436 b you'll um you'll see one that looks um like that thumbnail there, which is quite cool actually. So anyways, let's go back to um Gleaser now. Okay, so here we are. Right, so next up we've got um Ly Lyra. I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm saying your name correctly there, but yeah, there's their name. You can see it at the bottom there. Um, so yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. Let 
Ly Lyra? I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping I'm saying that. <laughs> Not wrong. Okay, so they've gone with a nice blue one. Wow, that looks like a really nice Neptune blue. That could almost work as a custom Neptune with a few bands and a few little upgrades to it. That looks really nice blue, though. So, yeah, there we go there. All right, um, next up, we've got Pub Sky TDX. Look how big one his, his is one is. So, there it is there. And, jeez, holy hell, that is, that is crazy. Holy moly. Damn. What? Look at these bands. Holy heck. That is crazy. Wow. Look at this. That is absolutely crazy. It completely is off the colour scheme of all of those guys by far. It's gone with yellows, oranges. Wow. That is <laughs> that is definitely a show um, right there. But does it really meet the qualifications of a hot Neptune? You've got to put that into consideration. It does look cool. But... Would you see that as a hot Neptune, or would you see it more of a Jupiter-like object? See, I'd see it as more like a big Jupiter, like regular gas giant, rather than an, a hot ice giant, if you ask me. I don't know, maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you don't, but remember, this is all opinionated. Whichever one I pick to win is not a fact, it's an opinion, so please keep that in mind. And next up, we've got the Lord um, 1221 here. So they have gone with a white um, colour-schemed one here. So there is that one there. All right, cool. So there we go. Right, um, let's see what we got next. See, we've got a ton of them today. I mean, look how many we got. This is crazy. This may be one of the... I think we had more than last time. And last time we had a new... Uh, a very high amount of people. So, yeah, damn. A lot of people really wanted to take part in this one. Um, next up, we got um, U20. That is their name, U20. Um, so, they've never sent one in before. But this is already... Oh, that does look good. Those, that colour scheme. And the blue indigo in the top. The cyan. And then, like, the pink. The purpley pink in the bottom. That does look good <laughs> that looks really nice i do like the color scheme on that so there is that one and then next up or, or lastly actually we got zane b's one so let's go ahead and spawn that guy in so here it is here so he's gone with red and um magenta sort of colored bands as well magenta sort of purple so yeah there we go so that is the whole list of um gleezers there so let's actually go ahead and um make them all the same size we have got gurin's one here which is quite big as well so let's go ahead and put it to twenty thousand. there we go oh no not two thousand we want 20,000 there you go all right or um 25,000 would be a better one to do there we go and then this one will do it um about 25,000 as well so there we go all right so let's get a full lineup of all these now so let's um go through it all so yeah two five there we go all right so we've got some interesting colors in here all right so let's go to make live so we can start pulling out the ones which are the best. So, yeah, this one is definitely a, still a very strong contender for me. It just looks amazing. I mean, hot Neptune. It's all like it's pretty much a Neptune blue with a slight reddish tint to it, I believe. Because, obviously, if you try and go ahead and spawn this guy in, you can see it's been tinted. Which gives it that little extra feel to it. It's got like a purpley pink tint to it on a blue, under, or a blue sort of colour underneath. Which gives us this really nice purpley neptune blue and it looks absolutely amazing for a um a hot neptune so there is that but also um we got that one there so also i will actually no i don't want to block the light off that one i guess i'll just leave it there i've got to say as well this one that does look really really cool so i'm going to pull that one forwards then i'm going to pull this one as well i really do like the color choices for that with the cyan the blue the purple that's a really nice color on there and then i'll also pull gigaman's one as well i think these guys have got the sort of coolest sort of colors out of um all of the other ones there so yeah there we go no 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 hate to any of the other ones i like all of these i think they're really really cool see guru's got the dark tinted one this one or these two actually got some pretty crazy bands going on and that one's got that pretty neptune blue Oh, that one also has bands, and then we have the other two as well, also looking really good, that one with the mint green, then we have the white one as well. So, yeah, also a massive thank you to everyone as well for sending them in, because obviously without you guys, we can't really do these things. So, yeah, we've got, how many how many, how many have we got in here? So, we've got um, 12 objects. I think that's a new record. I think that is a new record for the amount of objects in one competition. So, yeah, well done. Or <laughs> well, well done to all of us. We've made a competition with no number or nothing. Well, what's really the word to say this? We've never done a competition with this many. There we go. Why was it so hard to say that? But, um, yeah, anyways. So, ooh, between these four, I, I still think, I, I got, honestly, out of all of these, this is still my king, I think, for Gleaser 436B. I'll just say it straight up right now, what's on my mind. This is still the king to me, I think. I, I just love the way that looks. I mean, 
it was great in the size comparison last year for 2018 and I, I and it'll probably be making a return this year as well i mean it looks absolutely amazing but excluding this one now because that one is um all the way all right so out of these three i'm gonna go with mr miss Lot's one I, I i i don't know something about that purple and the extended bands on it i really like that i think it looks really really cool so yeah we've obviously got the um the purple bands higher in the north area he's got a bit of like the um heated clouding so it's a little warm some red areas glowing red um there but then he's got a white band in the middle then a few more um, of the darker purple bands i think that looks really good i have to say so yeah that is definitely my second place on my runner up there so yeah there we go guys so that is it for gleaser 436b so yeah overall really really cool and really well um well done to everyone here and i'll see a massive thank you to all because yeah we've never had this many in one video before so yeah really really well done um for everyone um sending the minks this is yeah definitely a new record so yeah really really cool but yeah also guys let me know which object out of these do you think is the best let me know in the comments or on the live sort of chat because um this will be a premiere as usual cause, yeah i always do these videos as premieres now oh, no, it's and it's nice to do um, the occasional premiere for um, these videos. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this because we've got a ton of different uh, object colours and stuff. So it's basically up to your personal preference which one you like the most. Like, there's no set um, look for it, obviously, because we don't know exactly what it looks like. We only have concept art for it. But, yeah, for me, this one is... I, I really like the way it looks. It definitely gives me the feel of a hot Neptune with that, like, purplish tint to it with the Neptune blue underneath. It really really works for me so yeah that that is definitely my king um right there but yeah guys like i said let me know which one you think down below and also next competition if i just um take all these out now next competition we're gonna be doing something a little different it's not about who can make the most customized object we are going to be doing a big rock competition so yeah remember this guy literally just an enormous piece of rock the giant the super giant rocky planet i've also i've got three versions of it right here this is my original one which i've had since 2015 it's had a few customization over the um, years but it's still the same old size it's been for a long time now so yeah we're gonna be doing a big rock competition next so it's basically who can make the largest rocky planet but there is a rule to this firstly you have to have calculated radius switched on that is the number one thing if you want to if you want your object to be counted and be obviously meet the requirements of this competition you need to have calculated radius switched on for this um because yeah without that you can make ridiculously large objects using the padlocks here with, with these padlocks you can make like if we quickly just do an example here i can make an object like this big that's not allowed you have to use this option here because that obviously calculates the radius and makes it more of a realistic like object so yeah for a big rock you have to use calculated radius and also glitched objects are also banned um from this competition you have to use stuff that's legit made in the game you can't use stuff um that's been glitched from older versions and stuff like that so you have to use stuff in the more modern versions of the game for so for me for instance i'm on update 22 so update 21 22 sort of stuff that's um preferably um the objects for this but yeah let me know um if you obviously want to partake in that then obviously send the object in to me on discord because that is the easiest place to do it and that's where i check the most and obviously because i sometimes there I, i'm not sure if people do send them in the comments but i don't see them because it is obviously quite hard of the amount of comments that are there or there if people have sent in stuff on comments before i'm sorry if i've missed them but it's really hard and i highly recommend you join my discord server because it's um that's the easiest place and it's way easier for everything to be found in there so yeah link to that will be in the description as always but yeah big rock competition this is something i've i've been thinking of for quite a while now and i think i think it'll be quite an interesting one to see how many big rocks we can get people to make so yeah big rock will be the next competition guys but yeah anyways with that all out of the way i hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah again let me know which one of these do you think is the best because yeah we got some really interesting ones for today so yeah that is it for gleaser 436b guys so yeah so without further ado make sure you guys all have a great day and yeah i'll see you in the next video goodbye